and liftoff. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The most powerful space observatory ever built is heading deeper into the galaxy. Go Webb! Following a successful launch on Christmas morning, the James Webb Space Telescope is now in its early stages of its mission to peer further into the universe and its origins than we ever imagined before. Webb is on a scale that's kind of a, a, a cultural undertaking and not just something for astronomers. One of its aims, to provide new insights into the existence of life on other planets. To help us understand uh, the possibilities and maybe even the probability of potential life form, although we're not looking for the life form itself, we're looking for the environment that will allow uh, life to, to thrive. To reach this point has taken more than two decades, almost $10 billion, and the combined brain power of thousands from 14 countries. But it's still just the beginning. James Webb now uh, has its array out. Over the next few weeks, Webb will continue deploying its antennas, sunshield, and mirrors. Each procedure, a critical and complicated step to fully assemble the seven-ton telescope, a process space fans will be able to follow in real time. Now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery. Much larger and 100 times more powerful than the Hubble telescope, which launched in 1990, Webb has the capability to see the infrared spectrum, allowing it to capture light rays from billions of years ago. It's a time machine. It's going to take us back to the very beginnings of the universe. NASA says the telescope will be able to zoom in on exoplanets in distant galaxies, examine their alien atmospheres, and beam back those images across a million miles of space to scientists here on Earth. I think after Webb's images and discoveries start to come in, I think when we look at the sky, it will be different in the future than the way we look at it today. A new era of space exploration with the potential to change how we see our place in the cosmos. For the news, I'm Gotti Schwartz.